गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लास इन दिस वी क्लास वी हैव टू डिस्कस द फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन ऑफ द चॉप फ्रॉम द चॉप्टर डिजोल्यूशन ऑफ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म लेटस वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट अवर क्वेश्चन So that is your total. is 
So this is the question. We are given. For this question, we have to make a solution related to the information what they are given. First, we have to read and classify the transactions what they are given in the question. So here, Gita and Sangeeta are partners sharing profit and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2. What is the profit sharing ratio now? 3 by 5 and 2 by 5. Their balancing as of the 31st March 2019 is as follows. So, balance sheet is there given. Creditors, liability, bills payable, liability, both will come to this account. Realization account, credit side will come to record it. Gita's loan. So, Gita is a partner. If any partner has paid loan to the company, means it is directly reflected to the settlement time that is bank account we have to record it. Except Gita, we have to take a loan from any other person means then it will be considered as a um, liability. So it will become under the realization account step number two. Now here the loan has given by Gita. So Gita is a partner to the company so it will come to the bank account. B amount is nothing but bank account. Reserve fund partners capital account and capitals partners capital account to record it this one. When come to the asset side, all the assets we have to record a realization account a big side under step number one except cash at bank it will come to the opening balance of bank account. Let us see 
takes some of the remaining information. The following information is available. So what is the information? Is the assets realized as follows? The company will have how many assets? One, two, three, four, five, six assets. So they are realized some assets only. So here bills receivable they are given, debtors given, stock given, machinery is given, and also they are given goodwill. So in this question, goodwill we have to consider intangible asset. If it is available in the balance sheet, but realized value is not given in the just means don't confuse. No need to consider the book value because it is an intangible asset. With except goodwill, any other asset is missing to realize in the real assets realized during that time we have recorded that unrecorded asset as a book value under step number three. Here no asset is missing. So one asset is taken over, remaining assets are realized. So adjustment number one always it is come to realization account, debit side, bank account, credit side. Sorry, bank realization account, credit side, bank account, debit side. We have to record it under step number three. We have to come. Step number four, what it will say? Sorry, adjustment number two, what it will say? Furniture was taken over by Sangeeta of rupees eight thousand. So this will comes to the realization account, credit side, and partners capital account, debit side. We have to record it. Next, realization expenses amounted rupees one thousand. We know that we become realization account, debit side, bank account, credit side. In this question, they have to ignore or omitted one uh, adjustment, which is that means settlement of liabilities. They are not given. So, but we know that the what the liabilities the company will have, that is credit of six hundred rupees payable is there. When they are not saying the information related to the repayment during that time, also we have to pay compulsory under step number four. If that they are saying, then we also we have to pay. If they are not saying, then also we have to pay because that is the ethical manner that we have to pay the debts at the time of closing the company. Without payments, the company registration will not be the company dissolution or dissolution certificate will not be provided. Before payment of debts, so first we have to make the payment that is compulsory, that is ethical, that is not any. It should not involve any malpractice or this. So finally, we have to prepare realization account, partners capital account, as well as the bank account. Next, we have to draw the columns for realization account. So we will draw the columns in your class for clear related to the information of the. Realization account for this. So we have to follow some steps also. Realization. Solution. So under debit side and credit side, all the transactions we have recorded according to the steps only. So here step number one we have to write two realizable assets. Are book value two realizable assets are. Book value. Here all the assets details they are given. According to that, we have to record each and every asset. 
नंबर वन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज बिल्स रेसिमेबल बिल्स रेसिमेबल टेन थाउजेंड एंड सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज टू सलरी डेटा लॉस डेटा लॉस द वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड टू स्टॉक स्टॉक फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड टू मशीनरी फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड टू फर्नीचर फर्नीचर टेन थाउजेंड
the value of the bill is 22,000. So the company will have how many assets? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 assets. So here they are giving information 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One more assets which is not realized. Before making the total, just you have to go through the question whether the asset will be taken over or not. If it is taken over, which it will come under step number 5. If it is not taken over, which it is we have recorded under step number 3 only. So now it is taken over. So the making will we have to make the total of this mill, we will get 78,000 is the total of assets sold. When we have to say this, we will get the value is 78,000 rupees we have to get. This is step number 3. Step number 4, what it means is always payment of liabilities. But that information is not given in the adjustment. Even though, then also we have to pay the liabilities. We have to write the step number 4 to bank account. In bracket mention, liabilities paid. In the bracket we have to mention liabilities paid. Liabilities compulsory. So how many liabilities we have? The company will have only two liabilities. That is creditors. Ten thousand. We should write the inner column. Bills payable. That is also ten thousand. On making the total of this, we will get twenty thousand in the payment of liabilities. This is step number four. Let's come to step number five. So here step number five. Any asset taken over, we have to record it. But here. Sangeeta has taken over by furniture, we will write by Sangeeta capital will write directly Little money one asset is there Sangeeta capital account In bracket we have to mention clearly furniture taken over
partners capital account we follow the exact procedure while we have to preparing the partners capital account what is the procedure here steps we have to follow in the partners capital account we follow the steps that is step number 1 always we will transfer the opening balance we will write by balance The balance is available in the question itself. First partner will have thirty thousand. Second partner will have the balance of forty thousand. Thirty thousand and forty thousand. After that, in the previous balance sheet, one more transaction is there, which is related to the partner's capital account, which is the transaction reserve fund by reserve fund. The value of reserve fund is given in the question itself. Ten thousand into two is to three. Two is to three. So first partner will get four thousand six thousand. Apart from that, no other transaction which is affected to the partner's capital account. Let's come to the realization account. So in the realization account. Somewhere we have to use the term partners capital account is the name of the partner or else some others. So here under step number five we have to put by Sangeeta capital account. So that value we transfer here to realization account. So here we have to go. What we have said in our furniture taken over. Taken over. Who is taken over? So here Sangeeta is taken over the furniture. So the value of furniture is eight thousand. Again, we will get the loss also that we have to transfer to the debit side to realization account. In bracket we have to mention that loss. That we have distributed the first quarter we get a loss of six thousand. Second quarter we get a loss of nine thousand. Apart from this, no other transactions are there which is. Related to the partners capital account. Now we have to close the partners capital account. By making the total of this, we have to close the partners capital account. So thirty plus four thirty four. Forty plus six forty six. Here also forty six thousand. Thirty-four thousand. Thirty-four minus six we will get the difference of the twenty-eight thousand for the first partner, and thirty-four minus nineteen thousand we will get the difference of twenty-nine thousand. For this we will give a name to bank account balance in figure. This amount we have to pay at the time of making the profit company. Like this we have to close the partners capital account. Let's come to the bank account. Let's we have to draw the columns for bank account. And we have to fulfill all the conditions, particulars. Amount. Again in particulars. Debit and credit, you have to write compulsorily. For this also, you have the marks. If you are not write properly for this, you will lose your marks. So in the bank account, first step number one, we have to write two balance brought down. So where the balance you have to brought it, you have to brought the balance from the previous balance sheet, which is given in the balance sheet and the asset side, the heading cash at bank, the value is five thousand. Apart from that, no other transactions are there which are related to the bank. So in the same balance sheet, come to the liability side. 
so liability is one transaction is there which is related to the partners capital account that is gita's capital account so that will be available on the liability side now we will transfer to the credit side of the account by gita loan gita's loan the value of gita's loan is also five So from the balance sheet, no other transactions are there. Let's come to the realization account. In the realization account, some few places we have to use the term bank that we have to transfer here. Step number one, we won't use. Step number two, also we won't use the term bank. Step number three, we use the term bank and the credit side we record it. It will come in the debit side of the next account to realization account. Realization account. In bracket, you have to mention assets. Realize as X and L can get that over the seventy eight thousand. As X realize is seventy eight thousand. And again the same realization on step number four. Again we have to use the term bank account. So we will write the debit side. Now we have to transfer to credit side by realization account. In bracket we have to mention the liabilities paid. So the value of liability is twenty thousand. After that one more time we have to use the term bank account and the realization account debit side only. So by realization account. In bracket mention that is a loan. Resolution expenses. That is one thousand rupees we have to transfer here. And finally, come to the partners capital account. In partners capital account, on the debit side we will use the term bank account that we consider as the capital. So on this side we get the two partners names. So we will write the same by partners capital account. Capital account. First partner Geeta, Sangeeta. Geeta will get the returns of twenty-eight thousand, and Sangeeta will get the returns of twenty-nine thousand exactly. Now all the transactions are completed. Now it's time to close the account by making the total both assets will get the equal value seventy-eight plus five eighty-three thousand. So here also eighty. Like this, we have closed the entire accounts of the dissolution of partnership firm. So I think you people have been understood this one. If you have any doubts, means you can directly contact me. I will solve your doubts. So thank you, everyone.